In health news tonight, a little known option for people who have very high cholesterol. Well, Hartford Hospital is the only one in the state with this program. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa has more on its impact on patients who are living with a rare form of high cholesterol. A family history of high cholesterol. My mother died at 49 years old. Has Ed Domek on the seventh floor of Hartford Hospital for four hours twice a month. He's undergoing what's known as LDL apheresis, which targets the ugly cholesterol, the LDL. Stuff that would be plaque in my system gets thrown away rather than stuck in my arteries. You have to have very high cholesterol levels despite the best diet and drug you can take. Cardiologist Dr. Paul Thompson heads up the program. Well, LDL apheresis is a way to lower cholesterol levels, much like kidney dialysis. Ed is hooked up to two intravenous lines. What we do is we take out the blood in one line, separate the red blood cells from the plasma, clean the plasma of all its cholesterol, combine the red blood cells in the plasma and put them back in the other arm. The 53-year-old has already had a triple bypass and cholesterol-lowering drugs are not working. It does lower it quite a bit, but not enough to uh, where I won't clog up. By the end of the session, the bag indeed fills up. There is cholesterol in the bag, yes. Sometimes it's visible and sometimes it's not. Nurse Joellen Beam says staying on apheresis is a lifesaver for patients with few options. Because their numbers will go right back up to where they were in the beginning. If someone could come in with a cholesterol level of 4 or 500, they go home with a cholesterol level of 100 or, or 50. So we remarkably remove the cholesterol level. There is more on the horizon for patients like Ed. The studies are promising for a new class of medication which are injectable. And what they do is they trick the liver into taking more cholesterol out of the blood. Clinical trials are underway at Hartford Hospital. Meantime, Ed remains on LDL apheresis. I would probably have needed another open heart surgery. Until the next breakthrough comes along. In Hartford, Jocelyn Maminta, News 8. A lot of you have a